Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful and most beneficent. In our previous lectures, we discussed about cell wall, cell membrane, fluid mosaic model, and today we will discuss about mitochondria, the powerhouse of cell. So, the sun is the ultimate source of energy, and all organisms and cells just got their energy from sun. So converted this energy from sun to ATPs and then use that energy. So mitochondria helps to generate ATPs. Adenosine triphosphate, ADP, ATP, NAD, and NADH positive. I hope you guys just uh, remember these concepts very well in your previous classes. Curve Car cycle, glycolysis, and ATP production, tri electron transport chain, these are all connected with this one. So ATP, the free energy currency, you, we just take it from food and then convert it into NADH positive to ATP and then use that energy for our uh, other activities in life. So mitochondria is a double membrane bound organelle found in um, cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells. It has its own uh, genetic material and considered that uh, yeah, maybe it was in actual come outside of cell from into the cell and it was maybe a bacteria or any type of other organism. So this was a basic concept of uh, a mitochondria and a theory considered about the mitochondria. Mito means thread and chondrion means granule like. So mitochondrion is a singular and mitochondria is plural in actual. Mitochondria was first observed by Richard Altman in 1894. And after that term, mitochondria was coined by Pearl Benda in 1898, after almost four years. So the brief history of mitochondria study was done by uh, Lenor, who discovered Janus green can be used as supravital strain for mitochondria in 1900. In 1913, particles from extracts of guinea pig liver were linked to respiration by auto, which is called as grana. The first high resolution microscope micrographs appeared in 1952, replacing the Janus green strain. And the popular term powerhouse of the cell that usually people used for mitochondria, that it is the powerhouse of cell, it gives power to the cell, was coined by Philip in 1957. Powerhouse of the cell, mitochondria is responsible for the conversion of uh, nutrients uh, into energy and produce different molecules of ATP that gives energy for the cell activities and this energy used for our daily life for specific functions our body perform. The function known as aerobic respiration is the reason mitochondria are frequently referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. Uh, aerobic respiration involves glycolysis, curve cycle, and electron transport chain. So I hope you guys just remember these concepts or these uh, uh, mechanisms that what in actual glycolysis is curve cycle and electron transport chain uh, we will maybe have a, a quick look to all these so we do just recall it what in actual these all are electron my transport chain just moving of electrons and origin of mitochondria mitochondria derived from bacteria by a process termed as endosymbiosis uh, so this was a, a theory considered that uh, mitochondria was uh, arose for about two, uh, 2 billion years ago uh, when a bacterium just specifically fused with a specific cell and just depends uh, on that cell for their uh, specific functions or for their living. Uh, this concept just prevails much and considered as that mitochondria was just come in the form of bacteria into the cell and depends on the cell and after that just producing energy for the cell. The first person to recognize mitochondria as descendants of endosymbiotic bacteria was Ivan, and it was like aerobic bacteria prokaryote and it just moves inside to the cell and then chloroplast, chloroplast also moves out from the cell to the inside and then lives in the cell and uh, performs different functions uh, into the cell and now it's a uh, permanent part of the cell. So this is the uh, endosymbiotic theory that we already discussed that uh, before a uh, eukaryotic cell, it was a proto-eukaryotic cells. And uh, it, after that, uh, 
it has nucleus endoplasmic reticulum and uh, uh, different uh, aerobic bacteria just moved into the cell for their living and evolved after that they evolved as mitochondria and perform function as the powerhouse of the cell so here you can see in this figure uh, uh, first it was only a nucleus after that and the only dna material then and become nucleus endoplasmic reticulum after that some aerobic bacteria just move in and uh, behave like uh, um, chloroplast and uh, mitochondria and perform different types of functions biogenesis it uh, grow by importing most of their protein from cytoplasm as this uh, as the dna of mitochondria only uh, generate few proteins uh, however all other proteins just synthesized by the nucleus and moves from the cytoplasm to the uh, mitochondria for different functions and uh, different uh, uh, other activities and by internal synthesis of some proteins and replication of the genome similar to the cells mitochondria divide and fuse with one and other bacteria with the concept of fusion and fusion if two mitochondria mitochondrion if two mitochondrion fuse with each other and make one healthy mitochondrion this concept is a fusion concept however if one mitochondria just divide into two it's a fusion uh, concept our understanding of mitochondria fusion and fusion has improved in recent years with the development of in vitro assays for their, their studies and the identification of proteins required for both the events. Mitochondria has to make a balance between the, this fusion and fusion reactions. If so many fusion and fusion reactions perform that will not the need of cell, then it will be dangerous. And the fusion and fusion is likely a major determinant uh, property of uh, mitochondria because uh, with the help of fusion and fusion, mitochondria just decide which mitochondria has to live and which kind of mitochondria has to die, uh, how much number of mitochondria a cell needs, what will be the length and what will be the health condition of the mitochondria. However, this uh, still this question is unsolved that how uh, a mitochondria knows that which mitochondria should has to die and which mitochondria has to live. When fusion becomes more frequent than fusion, it is considered that the mitochondria will become more elongated and interconnected. However, predominance of fusion leads to the formation of more numerous and distinct mitochondria. Here you can have a look that with the uh, fusion, if there is two, one mitochondria and then there is a new membrane and divided into two with the help of fusion. And if two just uh, combine with uh, each other and make one is known as fusion concept. Here we have the basic uh, uh, figure of mitochondria that this is the uh, outer membrane of mitochondria. Then we have inner membrane of mitochondria. Uh, then this is the uh, Christie of mitochondria matrix. So this is the matrix of mitochondria. Inner, inner membrane space is uh, uh, here and ribosomes are just, uh, you can say, embedded or floating in the mitochondria. Then we have granules there, ATP synthesis particles that just generate ATP, that is the energy of energy particles. So location of mitochondria, mitochondria present in uh, cytoplasm. Here you can see in animal cells here, here, here. However, this is plant cell that has cell wall, you know, we already discussed. So here and here, so it's present in the cytoplasm. What is the morphology of mitochondria? It is of 0.05 to 1 uh, micrometer in diameter in size in actual. Its, its length depends uh, on the quality and health of the mitochondria, usually from 1 to 10 micrometer long. It is being shaped uh, in fibroblast, it is elongated and thread-like. However, normally it is a bean-shaped uh, uh, organelle. And the number of mitochondria depends on the health uh, condition of the cell or the need of the cell. So uh, if you have a quick look to an example, an average liver cell contains almost 1,500 mitochondria in uh, one cell. Structure uh, In uh, structure, we have outer membrane, inner membrane, inner membrane space, 
Christie and Matrix. We have a look to these. So the outer membrane and inner membrane is composed of lipid by phospholipid bilayer and proteins. The two membranes have, these two membranes have different types of properties and functions. So outer membrane simply has a phospholipid bilayer and just may just close the mitochondrion, or you can just say just gather the mitochondrion from. Uh, it contains large number of integral protein structures known as porins, which allows molecule to freely diffuse from one side of the membrane to the other, as we have concept of uh, selective permeability in cell membrane. Similarly, some integral proteins known as porins, which uh, helps the movement of different molecules uh, for the diffusion uh, from one side of the membrane to the other side that, uh, uh, that the molecules, or you can say the the beneficial uh, components from the uh, cytoplasm to the mitochondria and porins pass uh, pass molecules that has the weight less than 5000 dalton ions neutron molecules atp adp can pass through the outer membrane very easily because these are the beneficial compounds or beneficial uh, components for the mitochondria the outer mem mitochondrial membrane is composed of 50 percent of phospholipids by weight and contains a variety of enzymes that help for specific uh, uh, metabolisms and functions. After outer membrane, we have inner membrane space. This is also known as uh, uh, peri-mitochondrial space. The space between inner membrane and outer membrane is known as intermembrane space. It has uh, high, uh, high proton concentration. Uh, the space between inner uh, and outer membrane is approximately 70 Armstrong. Uh, because the outer membrane is freely permeable to small molecules, as we already discussed, that it is uh, permeably uh, or selectively permeable uh, uh, membrane. The concentration of small molecules such as ions and sugars in the intermembrane space is same as that of cytosol. After outer membrane, we have intermembrane space, and after that, we have inner membrane. It is also freely permeable only for oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water, not for all the compounds and ions. Uh, it is selectively permeable for those. The inner mitochondrial membrane contains proteins that perform redox reaction, reduction and oxidation reaction in oxidative phosphorylation, ATP synthetase, transport proteins, protein import machinery, mitochondrial fusion, and fusion proteins. So several antiport systems exist allowing exchange of anions between the cytosol and the mitochondria. Here you have, uh, have a look that this is F0 portion and F1 portion. It is almost 8 to 9 nanometer and this portion is of 4 to 8, 4.8 nanometer and this one is for 3.3 nanometer. From outer membrane, we just uh, move to inner, inner space membrane. Inner membrane space, then inner membrane, and now it's Christie. Our uh, Christie are the specific folds that in that made by inner mitochondrial membrane. Finger-like, you can say it is like finger-like. We will have a look in uh, later slides that what Christie looks like in actual and expand its surface area, enhancing its ability to produce ATPs. That is the energy compounds. And these molecules uh, has inner membrane spheres also. Christie is covered with this inner membrane spheres called staked particles or knobs or heads. After that, uh, Christie, we have matrix that is space enclosed by the inner membrane. Christie, in actual, the engulfment, or you can say the part or the finger like uh, uh, figures of uh, inner membrane. However, matrix is the closed space of inner membrane. It is consistent, it is gel-like consistency, dense and homogeneous. It contains two thirds of the total protein of mitochondria. That matrix portion has the two thirds of total mitochondrial proteins. Matrix has all the enzymes, DNA, ribosomes, transfer RNA, everything that is uh, present in uh, uh, mitochondria almost is on matrix. The matrix is important for the production of ATP with the aid of ATPA, ATP synthetase containing in the inner membrane. Major enzymes include enzymes involved in synthesis of uh, nucleic acid proteins and fatty acid. So what is the uniqueness of mitochondria? In actual, mitochondria is unique in their, its own way of having its own circular DNA. 
and its own ribosomes for the production of proteins. However, all the proteins are not made, all the proteins are not generated by the mitochondria. Mitochondria also use many proteins from nucleus of the cell. However, it has the ability to produce some of its own proteins and also it has its own circular DNA. So the DNA in the cell nucleus does not code for the construction of mitochondria. So the, it is the mitochondrial DNA in actual small double-stranded covalently closed circular molecule occurs in multiple copies in mitochondria and it is of uh, 16,569 base pair of mitochondrial DNA. Most usually remains attached to inner mitochondrial membrane, stores biological information required for the growth and multiplication of the mitochondria. Uncode RNA and proteins that are essential for mitochondrial function. In actual, the, uh, the mitochondrial DNA encodes two reverse RNAs, 22 transfer RNAs and 30, 13 mitochondrial proteins. In total, almost uh, 37 uh, com compounds you can say, two uh, transfer uh, reverse RNAs, 22 transfer RNAs and 13 mitochondrial proteins. Because mitochondrial membranes has many proteins for different functions. So these proteins just encoded by the mitochondrial DNA can undergo duplication and replication processes and not absolutely autonomous depends on the nuclear DNA as we already discussed that many proteins and many uh, functioning proteins comes from the nucleus of the cell. So nuclear DNA uh, versus mitochondrial DNA, you can have a look that this is nuclear DNA, you know very well about that presented by Watson and Crick in 1953. Double stranded helix, double helix and uh, have ATGC and with base pair similarly. However, this is uh, mitochondrial DNA that is circular in shape and have different type of subunits, RNAs, transfer RNAs and everything. So DNA nucleus in actual or genetic material in actual comes from parents. However, in mitochondrial DNA only comes from mother, not from father. So mitochondrial DNA is inherited, inherited maternally into most animals. Uh, recently, a few years back, some researchers just uh, uh, published this data that uh, mitochondria can also inherit from the father also, but uh, still uh, researchers are working on it and still it is ambiguous that it was true or not. However, researchers or scientists consider that uh, mitochondria only comes from mother. Fathers only give genes to their children, but mother gives both genes and cytoplasm through their egg and then mitochondria comes through. Since mitochondria are in the cytoplasm, as you know, and reproduce themselves, then they only are inherited from the mother because mother shares the cytoplasm to the newborn and then, new, then mitochondria is present in cytoplasm and transfer from mother to newborn. However, father only gives genes, not the cytoplasm, so, mit so mitochondria just stops there. Hence, this pattern of mitochondrial DNA inheritance is well known as maternal inheritance. So what are the specific functions of mitochondria it includes aerobic respiration. Mitochondria uses complex molecule and oxygen to produce a higher energy molecule known as ATP. The core function of mitochondria to produce energy for the cell. That's why it is known as powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria are more abundant in the cell that contains a lot of energy. Extra mitochondrial inheritance, mitochondrial DNA contains plasma genes also. So a synthesis of mitochondrial DNA, RNA and protein is also the function of mitochondria, brings about gene expression through gene duplication, transcription and translation, synthesis of uh, 13 different polypeptides in uh, human as we already have a look that 13 mitochondrial uh, mitochondrial membrane protein was uh, uh, generated by mitochondrial dna th and uh, 22 transfer rn uh, transfer rna and two reverse rna was produced so these are the main function of mitochondria in actual so that was the sketch we just have uh, for mitochondria so here we just recall that uh, cytosol mitochondrian i uh, so glucose just uh, for the process of glycolysis. Then we have a curve cycle. Then we have electron transport chain and production of ATP. So all these just have to produce energy for the cell. 
here we have outer membrane inner membrane and movement of uh, ions nadh just lose one electron and produce nad positive moves from here and just h positive is in this direction this direction this direction from inner membrane and then o2 and h2 and this is the matrix and this is outer membrane so we just uh, recalling try to recall the concepts you uh, that we already have studied other functions for the production of heat role in apoptosis uh, program cell death which mitochondria has to die also the uh, sole concept of mitochondria functions as uh, synthesis of estrogen and test uh, testosterones role in neurotransmitter metabolism, role in cholesterol metabolism, role in heme synthesis, role in cellular proliferation, all these are the functions of mitochondria. So as mitochondria has its own circular DNA and also has uh, uh, specific functions, production of uh, energy. So there are specific diseases that was produced by mitochondria or disorders connected or associated with mitochondria. Mutations in any gene in mitochondrial proteins encoded by mitochondrial DNA or nuclear DNA can cause different types of uh, uh, diseases for the disease of uh, heart disease, uh, di uh, digestive disease, brain disease, muscle disease, eye disease, strokes, neuropathy, hearing. Uh, many age-related diseases are also connected with mitochondria. Cancer, my neuro neurodegenerative disorders and uh, uh, also, age-related disorders are connected with mitochondria. So, site for several metabolic reactions where the metabolic reactions just happens that like uh, outer in outer membrane oxidation of uh, epipherin happens, degradation of tryptophan happens in outer membrane elongation of fatty acids also just happens in the outer membrane of mitochondria. In inner membrane, only oxidative phosphorylation happens. However, in matrix curve cycle, beta oxidation, detoxification of mine, ammonia in urea cycle, and storage of calcium ions all just happens in matrix of the mitochondria. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. In actual, we just discuss about mitochondria. What mitochondria in actual? It has outer membrane, inner inner membrane space, inner membrane, Christy matrix and uh, it is the powerhouse of the cell curve cycle oxidative uh, uh, electron transport gene atp production these all just happens in mitochondria and mitochondria is considered as the powerhouse of the cell